Hi, this is Robert Estrin. Welcome to livingpianos.com. Today I'm gonna to talk about where to place a piano in your home. Now, pianos are come in all shapes and sizes. Of course, this is a nine foot concert grand. Most people don't have pianos this large in their homes unless you are lucky enough to have a glorious room that can handle it, not just the physical aspects of the size of the piano, but acoustically, because the bigger the piano, the more volume they create as well. But let's talk about grands and uprights. I already have a video about how to place an upright piano. And upright pianos, you might think, oh, a lot of people think, oh, I don't have room for a baby grand, I'll get an upright. It's actually easier to place a baby grand than an upright, which I'll explain in just a minute. And just to recap how to place upright pianos, they're all about five feet wide because of the 88 keys. And they come a couple of feet out of the wall. You want to allow another couple of feet for when the bench is pushed out. Here's the key though. If you put some space between the back of the piano and the wall, you'll get a much richer, more rewarding sound because most of the sound of an upright comes out the back. And if it's going into the right into the wall, it kind of soaks up the sound. Now, on the flip side, if an upright piano is too loud, put it up against the wall or better yet against some curtains or something and it'll be much quieter. But let's talk about baby grand and grand pianos. You see the way I'm situated here in the piano and how it opens into the room. Ideally, this is the way you want to place your piano. However, even though this is the typical way that pianos are placed on stage for concerts, in your home it's not necessary. Because believe it or not, it doesn't matter how you position your piano, you're going to hear it fine throughout your home. Now, it is nice to have the piano situated in this respect, so you can see the keys, you can see inside the piano, and yes, it does put the music right into the room. So this is kind of an ideal way to place the piano. However, there's no wrong way to place a baby grand or grand piano. They can tuck into a corner and look quite lovely and sound fine. You might prefer to sit and look into the room when you're playing and have the tail of the piano. Any of these ways is fine. Now keep in mind that you always have to allow for the bench. So if you're positioning the piano uh, in a certain position in your room, having it so that the bench is room this way rather than if it was the other way around, you might find that there's no room for the bench. If the bench is in the room, then when the bench is pushed in, you have more room. Whereas if it's the other way, whether the bench is in or out, you're always going to have that extra space that's not utilized. So that's the long and short of it. There are many other considerations. If you have an open floor plan, the sound could be an issue for people in other parts of the house. So you want to think about that. You never want to have your piano in a place where you don't want people to play it because it's disturbing to you and, and or your neighbors. So there are a lot of considerations for sound that you want. If the piano is too loud, you can always put a rug underneath because a baby grand or grand piano, just like the back of an upright, that's where half the sound comes from or almost all the sound when the lid is closed. So there are many different ways you can place your piano. Baby grands and grands are actually easier to place. They look good anyway. And you know what? You're gonna hear it in your home, no matter whether the lid's this way or that way, you're going to be fine. About five feet wide is a standard, and pianos come in all different lengths from around five feet all the way to nine feet like this piano. Any of you who has questions uh, about placing a piano in your home, you're welcome to shoot pictures and send them to us at livingpianos.com, and we'll be happy to give you advice about how to place your piano. And again, thanks for joining us here at livingpianos.com. I'm Robert Estrin. Appreciate all of you. We'll see you next time.